This is a tutorial on Adobe ROM, which is a project that Adobe has launched a few years back and then they decided to interrupt. You can see from the website now where I'm uh, browsing is rom.adobe.com. You can see also on the right hand side that a announcement of November 30, 2010 says that ROM actually was uh, stopped, was uh, uh, put on hold. Adobe has a, a very good piece of software here. I want to demonstrate how it works because some of the features of ROM are very interesting and could work perfectly also with the other more popular Adobe software. Here is the launch bar of uh, ROM. So I'm going to hide the browser. You will find the launch bar on the left hand side of your screen and you can choose to create a new document. When you hover your mouse without clicking over the new icon, you can choose whether you want to create a, a document for print, for uh, any type of uh, screen, for uh, desktop, mobile, browser, or you can choose a specific type of format such as animation, brand package, brochures, business cards and so on and so forth. There are plenty of presets that you can use and there is also a template exchange platform you can use. I'm going to start with a blank for screen and I'm choosing a average screen in which I can set a custom size. In this case by default is 800 by 600 and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to click choose and here we go. This is the interface of Rome. As you can see, it's very straightforward. You got top menus and each of the menus opens as my mouse hover onto it. You can choose also from the quick bar that you see on the left hand side here and you can move the bar wherever you prefer. For example, I'm gonna move it here. Uh, layers in uh, Rome are called sheets. So it's not called uh, layers by sheets and you can uh, have as many sheets as you want and you can separate them. They are very useful when you want to work on separate sheets for a website, for example. Now, what I want to focus on in particular in this tutorial is on the rectangle tool, where I choose the rectangle tool and I click and drag, I just make a very simple rectangle. Someone might start wondering where are the editing bars now, where I can change the stroke, where I can change the fill, where it's very straightforward and I like very much the way how ROM handled that type of editing features because you see that every item you create in ROM has a little pen on the top right. You see that it's pulsing as my mouse approaches it. When I hover my mouse onto it, a flyout menu comes out and let me choose what I want to change in terms of style for the fill, for the stroke, uh, size of the stroke and so on. The transparency, the blending mode, filters, everything is here. It's incredibly powerful and I like a lot the fact that all the possible options to edit this rectangle are in one place only. So you can go on to style and choose quickly a stroke and a fill and you can choose also to increase the size of the stroke with a very user-friendly slider. Filters, transform, you can arrange your items, put them uh, one on top of the other, stack them in a different order or also go into advanced uh, features such as whether it is a a hotspot or whether you want to replace colors, uh, publish or not publish, convert to bitmap and so on. Now I like a lot this flyout menu and I want to show how it works for the text tool. So I'm gonna click and type a text. For example I type the word Rome. Now the same concept now if I want to edit the word Rome is just by moving my mouse onto the same icon and the flyout menu now will be contextually designed for text. So I can just increase the size of my text by selecting it and uh, click on the slider. I can change more about the options for the decoration like underline or overline. I can go to the paragraph style, list, make it a link and so on and so forth. I can change the font dynamically from the flyout menu as well as the color of the font. Now I'm gonna move the item using the arrow in the toolbar and move my font around. As you can see when I select the text, the flyout menu includes text, but when I select the square, the flyout menu includes style. 